Like they literally went, I I'm gonna head out. Yep. I'm a bird, mother. I'm a bird. And a Perna interactive situation is wild. I've worked in the video game industry, recruited for it from the outside, and played video games my entire life. But I have never seen anything so wild as this Annapurna interactive situation. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smash JT. And holy crap, this is insanity. The entire team, over 20 people, all decided to up and quit their jobs together in unison because contract negotiations fell through with the company's billionaire owner and they didn't like the direction they were going. Wait, everyone in the company just went, this, I'm out? Yup. Like, they literally went, I, I'm gonna head out? Yup. Yo. So they all quit. Hit that subscribe, give me a like, and check out SmashJT.com for the full article breaking down Annapurna Interactive and how the company just completely dissolved and fell apart because the employees were like, Holy yeah, hell. no, we're done working here. In a beyond a stunning move that I have never seen before, the future of Annapurna is in doubt. Established in 2016, Annapurna Interactive worked with game creators from around the world, helping to create and release personal experiences from everyone. The company is a division of Annapurna Pictures, and they say in their About section that their notable games that they've released are What Remains of Edith Finch, Outer Wilds, Neon White, and the biggest one, Stray. The yeah. Exodus saw the departure mm -hmm. of Nathan Gary, the company's now former president and one of the founding members of Annapurna Interactive. And in his place, Hector Sanchez has been appointed as the new president. Sanchez is another founding member. Hey, why did the original one leave though? I am very curious about that. Why, why did that shift even happen? Okay, the president of Annapurna Interactive, Nathan, Nathan Gary, along with his team, resigned after a failed attempt to spin off the game division from its parent company, Annapurna Pictures. The negotiations which were held with the company owner, Megan Ellison, broke down, leading to Gary and around 25 other staff members choosing to leave. This mass resignation has caused uncertainty within the company through Ellison reassured that Annapurna Interactive will continue supporting uh, its current developers. Okay, so it, it is that. Like, he resigned as the president of Annapurna Interactive due to a failed negotiation with the company owner. Okay, so it is that reason. Holy hell member of Annapurna and recently returned after a brief stint with Epic Games. But things get really interesting the further we dive deeper into this collapse. Jason Schreier of Bloomberg revealed that Gary had been in negotiations with the daughter of multi-billionaire Larry Ellison from Oracle Money, Megan Ellison, to spin off Annapurna Interactive as an independent entity separate from its parent company, Annapurna Pictures, which interestingly enough was exploring bankruptcy options back in 2019 but apparently they're still around and they were still trying to spin off the company and make it separate and break it away from it megan didn't want to spin off annapurna interactive as an independent entity so when ellison pulled out of the negotiations gary and his leadership team and the entire staff chose to resign Oof. on the spot all of them quit like i said this is over 20 wasn't... people all together oh, okay, because they didn't get their way 25 people all they had? Yeah. It's an indie company. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They all just put their papers in and said, we're done here. We're moving on with our careers. Which is insane to me when you consider the current climate of the game industry of just mass layoff after mass layoff and nobody seems to be hiring to just proactively quit your job at a company that is doing just fine and paying you every week. It's pretty crazy to just walk away from that. In a statement from former president Gary to Bloomberg, he said, "All Look, people... Don't do a mass exodus unless they already had a backup plan. So I am wondering if they already had discussions that, hey, if this fell through, do you guys want to come with me and we will work on our own shit? That sounds about right. Is, 
I'm not saying this is an actual thing that happened. I'm I'm just speculating here. All 25 members of Annapurna Interactive team collectively resigned. This was one of the hardest decisions we have ever had to make, and we did not take this action lightly. A spokesperson for Annapurna confirmed the failure of these negotiations with Ellison stating, our top priority is continuing to support our developer and publishing partners during this transition. We're committed to not only our existing slate of games, but also expanding our presence in the interactive space as we continue to look for opportunities to take a more integrated approach to linear and interactive storytelling across film and TV, gaming and theater. Now what's crazy to me about all of this is Megan Ellison is the daughter of a multi-billionaire that made his money from Oracle, so she doesn't give a crap about about money she really doesn't so this is just kind of like a pet project for her it, so it's it's so wild that everyone just go goes deuces like that's a big f in her portfolio after this yeah, that yeah, is just so wild it will definitely do a double take for sure to go to the red carpets and wave to people to show them how important you are because you're in entertainment. When in reality, it's just you're the daughter of someone with a lot of money and you can afford to blow it. And you can afford to go tell people to pound sand if they don't do exactly what you tell them to do. Which is exactly seems to be what happened here. Where the team at Annapurna Interactive was just like, yeah, no, we don't care about how much money you have and how powerful you are. If you don't do what we're asking you to do and spin our company off into an independent entity, we are going to leave. And she tried to call their bluff and they weren't bluffing. <laughs> the situation has caused chaos for developers currently working with Annapurna. Many are now scrambling to understand if their publishing partners are even still valid. And what I found really interesting with all of this is how... That is so wild. Like she literally played with gasoline and matches next to an open flame. I don't know how the discussion will go. I don't know if she tried to bluff them. I don't know if he like he was trying to do some. Or she definitely would try to hold them out on the bluff. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Remedy Games is involved with it. The same Remedy Games that I talked about previously that seem to put agendas, propaganda, and a political narrative in front of actually making fun games seem to be trying to make a contract with Annapurna Games. On August 29th, Sam Lake of Remedy tweeted, I'm thrilled to start expanding Alan Wake and our Remedy Connected Universe beyond games. To build this close collab, games, film, TV, as one unified vision, Annapurna Picks with Megan Ellison, Hector Riffick, is the perfect partner for us to make this dream come true. And then he tagged Remedy Games as well. On a tweet from Remedy Entertainment stating, we are partnering with Annapurna to co-finance Control 2. We hope you're as excited about what this means for our creative output and ongoing independence as we are. Ooh. We are also happy to announce that Annapurna will work with us on expanding the Control and Alan Wake franchises into film and TV. And then they linked the press release with all the information on their- Well, that didn't age well. No, they didn't want to unionize. They want to be fully independent. Yeah. And she- try to bluff them out of that and and they're like ha deuce it's the same as pissing against the wind pretty much their corporation agreement it's just really wild to me i feel like there's a lot of webs being weaved in the background a lot of tangled webs a lot of webs that are getting confused and twisted and tied together and ripped apart right now because the entire group of people that worked at annapurna interactive just walked off the set. They left the company and quit on the spot. And it almost feels like this is the problem with the games industry. We have people up top that are multi-billionaires that are directing everyone on what to do, expecting everyone just to be the slaves and listen to them all the time. And when the people actually rise up, get together and say, no, we aren't having that, this kind of fallout happens. For a publisher as prominent as Annapurna Interactive to see its entire staff walk out the door over the potential of remaining a subsidiary instead of going independent is extraordinary, to say the least. It sends a very strong message to the rest of the gaming world about why creative independence is so important. And this right here is a big deal. I don't know what kind of ripples this... I'm just going to pause it. Because I wanted to say, it really bothers me that his background is off-center. 
So here's the corner, right? Yeah. And here's the rest of the background going this way. This is going to send through the game industry, but this is one of those situations that even if you've never played the games from Annapurna or only one or two of the games, they are the same type of people that are making games throughout all these other companies. And all these employers are seeing what just transpired here and might look at this as inspiration for fighting back against the corporation next time they're in contract negotiations or potentially going independent. The story seemed to come out of nowhere and if anything was a little bit confusing trying to figure out who is even doing what, who's in the right, why they're even mad at each other, what's even happening. But going through all the information, checking everything out, to the best of my understanding of what I can figure out from all of this mess is that all 25 employees at Annapurna Interactive wanted to basically, for all intents and purposes, unionize. They wanted to get an independent outlet, separate from the monolith that was owned by the billionaire's daughter and the billionaire's daughter. More than understandable. The fact that they wanted to do that is more than understandable. It was like, no. I got money. You can't unionize. You can't leave. We own this place. We own you. And the employers were like, no, you don't. You don't own us. We are independent people. We can control our own lives. We can go and do whatever we want to do. And they left. As key issues, yep. Nick said, they literally wanted yep. to unionize, be independent and protect themselves. And some billionaire said no. And honestly, I feel like that's what all of this comes down to. Unfortunately, it shows that the people in charge with the money still make all the decisions and hold all the power. I would like to think the 25 people from Annapurna Interactive are able to go out on their own, create their own independent studio, and start making games all over again because they are incredibly talented individuals. The games that came out of Annapurna were some of the best games. Yeah. Many of them smaller yeah. independent studio style games that you've played, you've seen, you've enjoyed, but you never really remembered who they were because they were such a small company. I feel like this kind of situation, if they do it right, will put them on the map when they start their own brand and new company. I just keep going back to how insane and hard the decision must have been for them all to quit in unison together to go. And that's that literally shows if they all literally left. How bad was the situation with her around there? It must have been really bad. Like, what, what, what is the shit that she wanted them to do that they absolutely did not want to do? Or how was the, like, working environment unbearable? Because, again, people don't just stand up and leave just because they did not get independent. There has to be more to it. Yeah, for sure. Go against the billionaire and say, nope. Your company's done because we're all leaving together. Hopefully they're able to go out, make it on their own, start their own new company, and hopefully they have ideas and plans already in place. But I could only imagine what they're going through mentally. Making a decision like this in the current environment that the gaming world is in right now, it's just pure insanity to me anyways i'm gonna leave it right there there is a lot of unknown information here a lot of this is hot off the press and a lot of people are very confused because this kind of thing doesn't typically happen all the information that i could find is linked in smashjt.com i will put the article in the description below if you guys appreciate what i'm doing hit that join button thank you so much for watching and as always oh video oh yeah but yeah i'm just hoping a year from now on they'll be like hey we'll be dropping this game in a, a year or two